I'm John Bruner, and I'm here at Cisco talking with Wim Elfrink. One of the big things that we talk about at Solid is this idea that software through the Internet of Things and the Internet of Everything can move into the physical world, into places where it hasn't been before. And here at Cisco, we'll be talking about the way that applications will be developed for the Internet of Everything and what developers and startups can do to join that revolution. Wim, we've heard a lot about the Internet of Things, the IoT, yeah. and now Cisco is talking about the Internet of Everything, the IOE. Yeah. What is that about? So first let's start with IoT. It's real, it's here, it's big, and it has a lot of impact. 300,000 things connected uh, every hour, 30 million a week. At this moment we estimate that 60 exabytes of data is generated every month. You know, I'm from Rotterdam, a big city. My father was a physical architect. We are digital architects, and via the things, we put a digital overlay over, for instance, a city. And suddenly, uh, all these siloed departments start talking. What's the opportunity here for developers, for people who work in software and want to get involved in this? Everything that's going to be connected has to be safe. So if you're a developer, uh, you can start developing secure connections encryption. The total value of this market uh, is estimated at 19 trillion dollars. Wow. I'm not making a mistake yeah. here. <laughs> 19 trillion dollars. Uh, think now that in business to business and via the digital overlay, they're going to connect industries. Mm -hmm. So you will see entire new business models. And so we estimate again uh, that the amount of traffic on the internet is 30% generated by the industry. And that's going to grow to 50%. Industrial apps are going to be big. Let's talk about that $19 trillion opportunity that you mentioned. Yeah. What's in it? Yeah. yeah, we can break it down by industry. Yeah, we can talk about retail. We can talk about public sector. We can talk about oil and gas, mining. It will affect all industries. A new industry entirely is what we call citizen services. Three trillion dollar opportunities, what we estimate. Small communities in itself, are they really connected? Do they have remote services, healthcare? Mm -hmm. it, it, it will change every industry. The way I sometimes think about this is as software coming into places where it hasn't been before, where you're, the, the business is already fairly well encompassed in a data model, an online yeah. Connected, yeah. To, connected to software. Is that where you see it? Do you, think, uh, do you think this is a matter of bringing software into new places? Yeah, think about it. We call it basically the integration between IT and OT. IT, ERP systems, the cloud nowadays, mm -hmm. process automation. But if you think about operational technologies in manufacturing, in oil and gas, drilling for oil, in mining, we have now sites in mining eh, where the people underground are mm -hmm. connected via Wi-Fi. And that they don't just have a lamp, they have a camera mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. to sense. Eh, they sense temperature, they send uh, gases eh, mm -hmm. that, that can destroy the mine. So they are connected. So IT, OT getting connected. In general, digitization will take place everywhere. A country, a home, city, company, eventually your body. What's holding that innovation back? What do we need to do to see more of this and to really unleash the potential of the IOE? Let me give you three main points. First, thought leadership, <laughs> inspiration, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Inno thinking out of the box, thinking as exponential. Uh, secondly, I think cities, countries that have a more empathic type of regulation and who anticipate new things will go faster. Mm -hmm. So smart regulation, very important. Um, thirdly, new business models, public-private partnerships, public-private participations, and around that, ecosystems. Mm -hmm. Nobody, nobody can do this alone. Excellent. Thank you so much, Wim. Welcome.